In today's episode, we're gonna show you six must-dos if you only have one day here in the area. Stay till the end though, because we do have a bonus for you and it is well worth watching. Aiden, what you doing? We watched the sun rise today and we watched the sun set today. It was a good day. It was a good day. For your first must do, set an early alarm. We recommend seeing the sunrise at Pulpit Rock. All right, we are out at Pulpit Rock. Dagny already found a bunny, but look at this view. We're about to watch the sunset come up over the... We're about to watch the sunset. We're about to watch the sun come up over the Eastern mountains. So check out this view. This is a fun early morning. Yes. Well worth getting up at yes. the crack of dawn. <laughs> I am not a morning person. And every time we do this, I have to remind myself that it is so worth it to get out of bed. We are literally out here by ourselves too. No one else. Yes, an incredible views. <laughs> All right, babe, what do you think of Pulpit Rock? This is a must do. It is not a very far walk from the parking area. So you need to come out here and see this view for yourself. Number two, then make the short drive over to the painted wall to see the morning sun illuminate the vertical cliffs. There's that cutie patootie. All right, Daisy. Just a second. Hang on. Hang on. We're always so eager. Hang on. Okay. Come on. Painted Wall is the tallest vertical cliff in Colorado and is among the highest in the United States. If New York's Empire State Building stood on this canyon floor, it would only reach slightly more than halfway to the top of this cliff. To see this view properly, you must come in the morning as the sun lights up the canyon walls. Hey buddy. Aiden, what you doing? Mm. You just hanging out by yourself? <laughs> Mommy there to protect you? Take a break from the park for your third must-do. Visit the Museum of the Mountain West. Oh, babe, it's a Museum of the Mountain West. Hi there. Mm. A lot of people head out to the Black Canyon and go, what's that? And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and that's how we saw it. <laughs> what you saw well, on the we highway went... is nothing compared to what you're about to see. His first museum in his parents, a bedroom of his parents' house when he was just eight years old. Over half a million objects here. How cool. Rich has created an entire Western town from doctors and dentist offices to the pharmacy and general stores, and of course, the saloons and jails. So here's a postcard that somebody actually sent of the Lusitania. This is an actual New York Herald, April 15th, 1865, announcing the assassination of President Lincoln. We're here clothes shopping for Lauren. <laughs> it's a 
Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> How about this hat? Oh, very stylish. Sean wasn't behaving, so I left him in jail. The attention to detail is incredible, and you really get the feeling of life in a western town. It's a mustache mug. Yeah. So kept the tea or coffee or whatever out of your mm -hmm. mustache. We recommend the guided tour. You get access to more areas and the guides are so knowledgeable about everything there. For your fourth must do, we'll check in with the park ranger. What's your favorite of the lookout points? So you've done two of the highlights already. I would, if you feel up for a short hike, go out to High Point and hike the Warner Point Trail. Okay. It's a mile and a half round trip and you look into the deepest part of the canyon. We're at the Warner Trail. I think it's about a mile out. It's supposed to be some <laughs> of the best views in Black Canyon of the Gunnison. So we're going to hike out, hike back, and then grab Dagny and go do dinner at Sunset View. Look at how pretty the grassland is. It is really cool how you can see the different landscapes like from farming <laughs> into forest. <laughs> It's a cool view of painted wall. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. You should do this hike to get the perspective from the other side. And burn some calories before dinner. Exactly. <laughs> what do you think of the view, buddy? Let's look this way. You see that view, buddy? Hey guys, we just finished the hike up to, what's this called? I think it's Warner Point. Warner it's Point? The high Point <laughs> Yeah, it's the High Point. It was a beautiful hike up here, beautiful view. We are getting ready, or we're hiking down now, so we can go grab dinner because this little boy is hungry, and so is Aiden. <laughs> Parking gets tight for your fifth must do, but you'll love Sunset View. We watched the sun rise today and we watched the sun set today. It was a good day. It was a good day. What are you making there? Making a little avocado and mango salsa. Your day isn't over yet. For your sixth must do, do some dark sky stargazing. Black Canyon of the Gunnison is a certified international dark sky park, so the stars are amazing. Overlooks that are far from the road, such as Chasm View, Dragon Point, and Sunset View are best for stargazing in the sky. Check out the National Park Service website for Black Canyon for more info about stargazing here. We only have one day in the Black Canyon Montrose area. We showed you the six must do's here. But if you have extra days, here are some bonus views. Check them out. While not technically part of the National Park, the East Portal Road takes you down winding roads with grades as steep as 16%. 
drive slowly and carefully. Your reward is beautiful views of the Gunnison River from the bottom of the canyon. All right, guys, that wraps up our time at Black Canyon of the Gunnison. We will catch you back next Tuesday when we head over to Glenwood Springs to go see the most photographed spot in Colorado, yeah. the Maroon Bells. <laughs> so we'll see you guys then.